Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Do my walk and talk here on the beach on Phuket now, talking about three news items, a little bit about the price, and uh, maybe some information about the family. I'm recording with a gimbal, and I have now a mic wireless mic hopefully that is working hopefully the sound is okay because it's very windy so the sound should be good guys now let's jump into the first very important news article over here bam as you have noticed on twitter and in all the news a lot of people are withdrawing their funds from binance um the reason for that i don't know people don't feel safe anymore at centralized exchanges they heard a lot about fud about binance not being liquid and all that stuff you know this kind of noise and fud has been there always and every time in every bear market guys now for me binance is still um safe like uh, cz always loves to say it but you never know i am of course there to tell you not your keys not your bitcoins move your bitcoins to your uh, non-custodial cold wallets and connect them to decentralized exchanges to trade if you want to be completely safe i think in total 8.8 .8 billion us dollar worth of crypto left the binance exchange but also 5.1 billion um, us dollar worth of crypto came into binance so uh, the net is around three mil three billion us dollar worth of crypto leaving binance really big news so be aware not your keys not your bitcoin make sure you move your bitcoins to non-custodial wallets in this bear market do dollar cost average into bitcoin but then move them to cold storage and if you want to trade you can always trade on the decentralized exchange now that is a very important news now the second news article is this one bam canada now wants to prohibit its citizens from trading leverage so there is no crypto company anymore that will be able to surface the canadian people with leverage trading like bybit is doing like binance is doing like bitmax all of those platforms have their clients trade with leverage and canada doesn't want that anymore so they are prohibiting now in the future that people are able to do that again i don't know what they think who they think they are and what they think they can decide they can't decide shit. You take your Bitcoins in non-custodial cold wallets and you can still trade with leverage on decentralized exchanges. I've been warning you many times before now in the last couple of months, take a look at Apex Pro. It is a decentralized exchange on an order book model that supports leverage trading. So you trade from your own wallet with leverage and nobody can ever take your Bitcoins. So whenever these countries announce ah oh, we are going to prohibit leverage trading oh we're going to prohibit uh, too much funds from banks to exchanges blah 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 they can't stop this and slowly they will start to realize but they still don't realize but you should be realizing because you should be smarter than your government and you should be understanding this crypto industry and you should be knowing now oh shit they can't do anything if i'm in canada i will use a firewall i will do my bitcoins in a non-custodial wallet collect to a de de decentralized exchange wherever that might be on the world and start to trade bitcoin nobody can stop you trading or owning bitcoin guys it's very important for you guys to understand and why is it very important to understand because you always need to be a step up front not behind do your steps up front already anticipate on what these governments want to do and then of course because of you anticipating you are one step up front if you're not anticipating you're reacting and with reacting you're always too late same like football let's say like football did you see the match yesterday argentina 3-0 beautiful plate but in football it's all about anticipating anticipating that the player plays you the ball anticipating where the corner is going to land anticipating everything inside of reacting because if you react you're always one split second too late guys so yes also here in this industry and all the government regulations and KYC shit that we are seeing you need to anticipate instead of react anticipating you do by taking your bitcoins out of centralized regulated KYC exchanges put them in non-custodial cold wallet in a very privacy way and if you want to trade in the future you will be trading on a decentralized exchange just believe me that next bull run is going to be completely decentralized exchanges with leverage on an order book model like apex is doing yes i'm trailing apex because i really want you to understand that there is an alternative for all these centralized exchanges that are now stopping or screwing up uh, like ftx like the criminal together with the whole government i think that gensler and all of them were all in this fucking trojan horse setup 
I think it was a huge Trojan horse that just wanted to disrupt that wanted to disrupt this uh, beautiful industry that we have been building in the last decade and uh, with that also Bitcoin. They didn't succeed yet and they won't succeed yet if you and me stay strong. And this is very important, guys. And why is it very important? It's very important for your future, for my future, for the children's future and all of the people that we know their future because we all know what they are doing. We all know that they want to get rid of cash, introduce central banks, digital currency and create even more control on humanity than they already have. And we can see the first starts of this. Like we saw already that the English pounds, the old bills um, of 20 and 50 were being replaced by the new ones. And now the old ones can only be exchanged through a certain date into the new ones. So a lot of old money, how do you exchange that without doing KYC? And now we saw the second example today uh, in India. In India, they have a 2000 rupees uh, note. And that note, they are trying to phase that note out. So already now for three years, the 2000 rupees note is not being printed anymore. So by that, we're drawing them from the economical system. And to be clear, 2000 rupees is around 23 euros, which is, of course, nothing for us. But you can compare it with like the 200 notes or a thousand notes that we used to have in Europe as well. So they are phasing it out. Why would they be phasing out those notes? Why would India be phasing out the 2,000 rupees. Now, they say it's to prohibit criminal activities, it's for money rolling, it's all against that, you know, all that shit that they have been telling us all the time. No, of course not. They will be phasing out first the bigger notes, and then a step lower, and a step lower. In the end, we only have $5 notes, or, or like $1 note, whatever it is. And then if you want to buy all that big stuff out there, like a, a, a something for 3K or 5K, you will be needing to do this with digital currencies. And they want you to do that with the central bank's digital currency. And I want you to do that with Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. So for me, it is very important that if I read these things in the news, that India is, going to, is phasing out that note already for three years, they have a plan behind it. And that's happening all over the world. Also in the Netherlands. I can't pay with a 200 euro note anymore in the Netherlands in the Dutch stores. In Portugal, I can still use a 200, dollar, a 200 euro note. But there it's a normal thing. So every country is going to do this in their own tempo and they are going to phase out these bigger, uh, they, they, those higher notes, like the 200 euro notes or the 2000 rupees notes, and slowly step it down to the smaller ones as well to get full control by you using the central bank's digital currency. Before that shit all hits the fan, you should be exiting that system as soon as possible and then use that money, that cash or whatever, to enter the new economical system that we as a people create and it's called Bitcoin because that will protect you, your future, your kids' future and the next generation future and it's very important to understand. Now we can talk a little bit about Bitcoin. The Bitcoin price is around uh, 17,800 US dollar, almost 18,000 US dollar. I think 18,000 US dollar the last time was the 10th of November so that's almost a month ago. Uh, really beautiful that Bitcoin is keeping strong at that level. Um, is this positive um, or negative to uh, in the bigger picture? It doesn't matter in the bigger picture, guys. In the bigger picture, Bitcoin is going to be always here doing what it does. It's going to decentralize the monetary system, create a honest one that you, me, and all the poor people all over the world can access and, uh, and use. And that is what it means. And that is what it means to do. Um, the price, yes, it can make you happy because we are making more uh, Bitcoins and we're making profits and all that stuff. So if it comes to the price, the most important short term level is around 18,260. That is a level that uh, was support a few times in the, in, in, the, in the previous months. And then we broke it down and we felt that 15,000 levels. Now we are trying, in my opinion, to break that level again, to go to 18,200 and break it. And if we break it and find support again in that level, that means that we are maybe uh, have seen the bottom already and are reversing into a little, little bit more bullish momentum, maybe even to 24,000 US dollars to the next resistance level. You know how it always goes. In Bitcoin, you need to zoom out and understand the bigger picture. Yes, these noises that you see in the news. Yes, the volatility of the price. We have that always. But on average, Bitcoin has been only going up and in my opinion, will only be going up because the future is still the same. It's still 21 million Bitcoins Demand is tremendously growing and will be growing stronger when all these countries are starting to shit and fuck up with their money. So, um, yes, in my opinion, you should be buying this Bitcoin bottom.
and the bottom can be 17k, 15k, 14k, 13k, uh, 20k, whatever it is. It doesn't really matter because in my opinion, we will go to new all-time highs somewhere in the next couple of years. It will be above 60 or 70 or 80, maybe 100k, which means your uh, capital will go times 3, 4 or 5. That is the best return on investment that you can get, guys. Now, that was everything for today. Um, on my rocking swing here, you can't even see it, I think. Look, uh, look, I'm sitting on this beautiful um, beach swing. Um, I'm going to zoom out now as well, guys, because I always want to remember you to zoom out in Bitcoin, look at the bigger picture, and zoom in that life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day, which is the most important thing that you could be doing, guys. Um, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, and let me know what you think about the Bitcoin price, but more about these news items in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you tomorrow again. Bam!